Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Thought I would do a quick review of some of my best practice visualization tips. <clears throat> Recently we had a Enterprise DNA Learning Summit where I covered some, uh, some of the best uh, sessions that uh, we've had historically at some other summits and this was one of them so one of them was a, a bonus session around data visualization and I just want to just do a quick breakout of some of my best tips obviously I went into more detail during this particular session um, but uh, here are some of the, the, the quick tips that I think will improve basically anyone's report if they're, if they're wanting to create something that's very visually appealing now the first one is, uh, and this, we're looking at uh, this particular report page here, and the, the key technique, this is probably sort of my number one that I would have a think about, is think in grids, okay? So remind yourself of this when you're creating reports because it really helps in terms of setting things out on a page. And the same concepts actually come from you know, PowerPoint design and, and, and um, design of applications, um, and they are very relevant to Power BI reports. So thinking in grids is a really good way to get started around where to place things on a page. Now, it's not obvious where the grid is, but you can, uh, once I sort of draw it out, you can see, okay, well, yes, that makes sense. You know, there's a grid there that, that has some elements within it. So for, for instance, I have a grid that sort of goes along here. I have a grid that sort of comes down on the right-hand side here, and you could even break it up because there's different parts to this particular grid. So there's grids within grids. Then we have another grid, which sort of um, is a rectangle around here. And then we have another grid, which works along the bottom here. And I find with all of my designs um, that you can see on the Enterprise DNA Showcase page that uh, you know, putting something in a grid just makes things, makes information more easily readable. It makes it stand out um, a lot better. So big thing to, and the grids can be anything. Um, I mean, there's the whole, there's so much flexibility in where you place your grids, but it's always good to start with that in mind and place things in certain areas within your report or within certain grids within your report. My second, one of my second key things that I like to um, always cover or always showcase is making making the, the most important information stand out or the key information stand out. Now, how I've done that, done this in this particular report page is if we look at, let's look down here first. So what I've done is I've said, okay, well, obviously, you know, this, this is a pretty generic um, demo data set, but I've got some sales, I've got some profits, I've got some margins information. So all of this is the, the key stuff that you want uh, someone to be able to look at immediately and say, okay, well, here are our top line numbers. And then also when they place additional filters on the report, like I'm doing right now, you know, those key pieces of information update. You know, and, and, the, and the more that you drill down into a specific uh, calculation or result, those numbers will quickly update and people can see the high level numbers. So you've got to make those stand out. And another way I've done it, in quite an innovative way, is I've um, included, say, the, these, this, these pieces of information, I've put them inside um, donut charts or pie charts. So it's just another way I've made some key information stand out. Okay. Usually these comes with, you know, you can, you, it doesn't have to be numbers, but in this case, you know, I've made numbers because those are, those are particular things that draw uh, users' eyes or consumers' eyes into particular results. Um, and I've just utilized them in a slightly different, in slightly different ways in the same report page. I also find that if you put them together, so if you put them sort of within a grid somewhere and then you put them right next to each other, it, again, it draws users' eyes to the key information. They don't have to look from you know, different areas of the page. Another key, another interesting thing to think about is colors, right? So as, as if you've followed a lot of my work and down, download some of my uh, the, the resources made available through Enterprise DNA, which you can at the Enterprise DNA website, Colors are incredibly important, I feel, you know. They're what are really lacking in making an average report look compelling. Um, but there are some things that you have to you know, bear in mind when you're using a lot of colors, okay? Or you're using bright, you know, different colors or, or, or nice color palettes. One of the key ones is, is don't actually use too many colors. Try and limit yourself to the key, the main, main colors in that color palette. And so if we have a look here, I'll show you my color palette in this particular report. So we have a look here. You'll be interested to know that I only actually use in this particular, in this entire report, the top row, the top layer 
in this palette so the main colors i don't use any of the sub colors really at all i don't believe um maybe i've used one or two on some other page in this report but i only use the top layer because if you have too many varying colors it, it to me it's just unnecessary and it really um uh, can yeah it can uh, take away from you know the key information you're trying to make like really stand out and it just honestly it just doesn't look good um once you just have like this whole range of different colors and shades etc on a report page so the key is to um and it's then it's also a, a good way of keeping things simple on your report right if you feel like you have to use lots of colors like what you ultimately find is that you've just got too much information on your page and that the the consumer is just going to feel exactly the same way now they're going to read it and not really uh take in you know information that you are really trying to showcase or keep the most important things that you're trying to showcase in your report so that's my third and uh and and, and i guess last best practice but i also want to show um i also want you to use your imagination and trying to showcase things now i want to draw you just to the bottom here now what i decided to do is i've got obviously my date filter up here on the left hand side but what i wanted to allow a user to do to be able to easily recognize what context is on these particular results is i also actually put some calculated dates uh, here based on the selection so what i can do is i can actually change the selection up here but when the user or the consumer draws their eyes down here you want to have a representation and this is called just something a little bit more innovative uh, around what dates are actually showing or what dates these results are between and so you don't just have to rely on say standard slices or filter or anything like that you can actually calculate these particular results and these are just very simple calculations that i've added um, some some additional color that i've added to the report that allows the consumer to more easily understand you know what is actually going on and so i just have a pretty simple measure here um, that is just going and collecting the month and year based on the, or the min or the max month and year based on whatever selection is here and another thing i've done is i've as i mentioned just earlier is i um, created these percentage charts um, with the actual key percentage so you see here sales of top 20 percent where does the bulk of the sales come from um you know it comes from your know, top 20 percent of our sales comes from 40 percent of our cities 42 percent of our products 45 percent of our customers so this is key information but what i've done is i've embedded it inside of a chart which also so you see this yellow bar this is actually also representing the number okay so this is a custom calculation which i've put into this particular donut chart which adjusts based on whatever percentage we want to show there another innovative way to showcase key information so that's just another thing to bear in mind use your imagination in terms of really making that that important stuff pop out so that's all i wanted to cover this is just a really quick overview of a much a long session um, that covered a few other things like how to get good color palettes and, and things like that but this is this is just some of my best practices that i want to um you know i've mentioned here and there um, you know a few times but certainly wants um uh, you know I, I find that they're so important you know visualization is such a key pillar of high quality you know power bi solutions that i have, i'm sure i'll uh, you know repeat them more uh, more in time but this is just a good way to condense it into a, into a shorter video for you okay uh wishing you all the best hope you all enjoyed this one if you did um, throw the video a like really appreciate it as always uh, and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv lots of great content coming out uh, to you all the time um, so look forward to getting that to you as soon as i can all the best talk to you soon bye